What is up, family? It's your boy Whitley. I'm back. Episode 2. What is going on with this Russell J. Gould guy? Uh, I know you've been dying to, to, to see this video. It's been, what, like a month since I posted the last one almost? Sorry it's taking me so long. Uh, I've been busy trying to make money. This Rona got me broke. I'm a musician. And uh, nobody's nobody wanted music for a while. Can you believe that? So I'm having to try to find other ways to make some money. Also, these videos take a long time to make, guys. All the research that goes into it and shooting it, editing it, it takes a long time. It's not like you can just jump on a computer and make it happen in five minutes. So I hope you can appreciate all the hard work that goes into these videos. Not just my videos, but you know, all of the YouTubers that you follow, they put a lot of work into those videos. So I hope you guys appreciate all them. Another reason why it took so long for me to make this video is because I could not come to a conclusion. So I'm going to present the results from the research that I've done to you guys. You make your own decision, but you're going to find this video interesting. Make sure you like it. Make sure you share it. Subscribe. Hit the bell. You know the deal. All right. So the last video, we talked about the Title IV flag. We talked about Russell J. Gould, how allegedly he claims that he captured that flag and saved the United States from being turned back over to Great Britain, which would have ended horribly. It's a cool story. Is it true? I'm not sure. I've been in touch with the Gould team, and it, it looks like I'll be setting up an interview with, with Russell. So hopefully real soon we'll get some like direct answers. But here's what I got right now if you haven't seen that last video it's in the link below go check it out this video will make a lot more sense so i've been researching russell j gould you should check him out go to war castles i'll put that link below too check him out listen to what he's got to say it's hard to understand at first i've researched it a lot and i'm just i'm you know i have a basic understanding of what's going on it's starting to make a lot of sense but it's difficult to understand. Basically, what he's saying is that all of the contracts are fraudulent. <laughs> what that means is your birth certificate, the laws, your mortgages, all, all that's based on legal contracts, which are fraudulent because the language in the contracts are incorrect. And what that means is since the language is incorrect, the the language in the contracts are basically gibberish. They mean nothing. And so Russell has figured this out that the language is is actually gibberish. And he's used that to win court cases. For example, I found this by accident. This is a court case that that Russell was involved in. I'll put the link below too for this one. I've I've read through it and it confirms what he's saying is true that he, he they won this case and other cases I found other ones. They've won this case based on the fact that the language used to file these claims or make contracts or whatever is is incorrect. And if you can prove in court that the language that they've used on these, on this paperwork, on these documents, is incorrect, and it it makes them null and void. I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining this. And if this seems boring to you, wake up, because if this is true, it is a game changer. If this is true, it will grant you your freedom. Freedom from having to follow all their stupid laws, from being subject to them, from having to pay all their stupid taxes, from the threat of imprisonment, from being foreclosed on. You can't if you you can win foreclosure cases. Your house belongs to you. You're no longer a slave. This is not boring stuff. So wake up. I want to I want to move on to somebody else. We'll get back to Russell in a minute. But I want to talk about this guy named Kim Clement. Kim Clement is a prophet. 
I will admit I came across Kim years ago and I dismissed him and I cut him off and I did not listen to him, anything that he said. Because at that point in my life, I was not who I am today. I was judgmental and I dismissed this guy. He's got a mullet, a, a fantastic mullet, by the way. Eat your heart out, John Stamos. Get off the bus. His delivery was strange. I thought I, I found it weird at first. So I judged it and didn't even listen to it. And I think it was Solomon that, that says in uh, Proverbs or something, he that decides a matter before he hears it out is an idiot. I kind of put that last part in there myself, but I think it fits. But... I, I've made the mistake of judging other people before and not listening to them, and it's ended horribly. For example, Jesse Lee Peterson. First time I heard this guy, I judged him. I was like, this guy's stupid. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Totally judged the guy. Cut him off. Only to find out years later that his his teaching on forgiveness, when I implemented it in my life, Completely changed my life. Night and day. If you don't know what Jesse Lee talks about in terms of forgiveness, you need to put that at the top of your priority list. And you need to go forgive. It will change your life. So I judged him. I judged Kim Clement. And I asked that you don't judge these guys. Kim has made a lot of specific prophecies that have come true. It's pretty remarkable. He, he, he prophesied that Trump would become president. He prophesied the impeachment, uh, which only, what, two presidents before Trump had been impeached? It's not something that happens very often. He prophesied that. He prophesied that it would be unsuccessful. He prophesied that they would try to put a witch in the White House. And boy, did they try to put a witch in the White House. He prophesied that the Dow would hit 20,000. He prophesied about Q. Wake up. This guy's worth listening to. So I want to play you a video of one of his prophecies from February 22nd, 2014. I've edited as much out of this video as I could to shorten it. It's going to be about nine minutes or so worth of prophecy. But I think it's important, so important that I can't, I can't edit out any more of it. Okay, watch the video of this prophecy, then we'll make some points when it's done. Hear me, for I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart, and he is amongst you. He is one of the brothers but singled out for presidency of the United States of America. I have searched for a man and a woman who would stand in the Oval Office and pray and call for the restoration of the fortunes of Zion. I have looked for a man who would pray for the restoration of the fortunes of Zion. This man has stood in Jerusalem this man that I saw in the vision, the man that came out of a vision, please hear me. I was standing in my garden. And suddenly the spirit came and removed from my eyes scales. I was praying for America and I was praying for Israel. Nothing unusual. And suddenly behind me, starting behind my back, going in the form of an arrow, were hundreds of thousands of people. And I turned around and I was stunned at what I saw. This was not just a mere dream, but this was a vision. And so I raised my hand like this and every one of them raised their hands. I looked back and they were doing the same thing. I shouted 
and they all shouted. They were one. They were one. One party. One party of people. continued until I realized that the unity of these amongst them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of this nation I said why am I hearing this so soon surely you would show me a little bit of it closer to the time and the Spirit of God said to me this man has a humble stature, but he is a genius. And then I heard gold. I wasn't sure if this was attached to his name, but he said to me, he will restore the fortunes in this nation. Bef because of his brilliance, I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them and the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said this man will throttle the enemies of Israel this man will throttle the enemies of the West and they are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation there'll be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de democrats in the upcoming elections but unsettling for the republicans why is why is god doing this for god said i am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties and then there is a nation he showed me and took me itching for a new kind of war with America they will shout impeach impeach they say but nay This nation shall come very subtly. But he shall not come in the time of President Obama. They shall come when this new one arises, my David, that I have set aside for this nation. A man of prayer. A man of choice words. Not a man who is verbose, who has verbosity, who speaks too much. They will even say, this man is not speaking enough but God says I have set him aside they will shout impeach impeach but this shall not happen and then God says highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises and people will become very afraid they'll say we have no protection and then God says am I impressed with your weapons of war am i impressed with the strength of your men's legs ha! i have said i will bring this nation to its knees and god said you have been humbled and yet some more and then you shall hear the sounds of great victory for where are the people gathered where are my people gathered where is the sound of unity from my people in this next week this man shall begin to emerge Come on. and in the following two weeks which is a three-week period he shall slowly come to the fore for they are saying how do we kill the giant how do we kill the giant of death how do we kill the giant of socialism how do we kill the giant of human secularism I have placed that man amongst you a humble man and as Samuel stood before the brothers and they had rejected David to come because of his age take all these little little remarks I'm giving you they are gems 
the name and the word gold. Remember that. A man that is amongst them, but is young. And God says, these that shall reject him shall be shocked at how he takes the giant down. Now hear me please. The giant of death, the giant, the giants that have come, the brothers of Goliath stand in glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. However, observe. And they shall say, what is your plan for this, this giant? And he will take a simple stone. Remember the name. And he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord. It could only have been given by me. Gold, stone, California, a smaller statue. And God says, once you recognize the man that I have raised up, pray. For the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. Did anybody hear what he just said? For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. I've watched this video about 10 times, maybe more. And at first, it sounds like he's talking about Trump. The first time I watched the video, I was like, that's Trump. But the more I watch this video, the more I think that he could be talking about someone else. Here's some of the things that in this prophecy that don't fit Trump's description to me. He came out of this large group of people that were united. He emerged out of this group. He was among them. Did you see Trump emerge out of a large united group of people? I did not. Kim says that he will begin to emerge in the coming week. This video was recorded February 22nd, 2014, which would have meant that if it was Trump, he would have emerged from February 23rd to March 1st, 2014, which was the following week. Did Trump emerge? Did he begin to emerge during that week? No. Trump has been in the spotlight long before 2014. As a matter of fact, he first started about talking about running for president publicly in 1987. That emergence out of the people, the united people, does not accurately Describe what we think of Donald Trump. Furthermore, Kim says he has a humble stature. Now, I do think that President Trump is a whole lot more humble than people give him credit for. I'll give him that. But when we go to write a list of words to describe the president, humble doesn't exactly make the top of the list. Next, Kim specifically mentions the name gold. And at first he said, I didn't, I don't know if it's attached to his name or what, but later on he says, remember the name gold. He also said about this man that they will say that he's a man of few words. And they will even say that he's not speaking enough. Uh, as of today, that does not describe President Trump. Now he could change and all of a sudden, uh, you know, start not talking that much. But right now, this this not fitting. No, the, the things in this prophecy that do seem to fit Trump. Uh, he said they will shout, impeach, impeach. Trump was definitely impeached. That doesn't happen very often. But did he say that the guy in the vision would be impeached? 
No, he simply just said, they will shout, impeach, impeach. Maybe Trump is the guy in the prophecy, and that is what he's talking about. But I'm, and I'm open to that possibility, but I'm saying that he did not say that this man in the vision would be the one that they were shouting impeach to. Maybe it's just a sign. The other thing that fits this Trump prophecy is that they would try to put a witch in the White House. And they definitely did. We know Hillary's a witch. Like a legit, full-blown, cackling, stirring the pot, pointy hat. Spell casting witch. Nasty woman. So we know that's true. We also think that she might try to make another run. So those two things seem to fit Trump very well, but the most of the other stuff just does not seem to to match what we know of Donald Trump. But this guy, Russell J. Gould, this humble looking man right here it's amazing how much of the prophecy seems to match this guy now like i said i'm not drawing any conclusions here i said in the beginning of this video one of the reasons it took me so long to make this is i have not been able to come to a conclusion but i do find it awful interesting that so much of this prophecy matches this guy and wait till i tell you the story of how i made this connection We'll get to that later on in the video. But here are some things about the prophecy that match Russell J. Gould. He has a humble stature. Uh, look at this guy. I've watched a lot of videos on him. He's a pretty humble dude. Kim talks about the plan that takes down the giant, the giant of debt, the giant of socialism, which is a tyrannical government. This, this country is a whole lot more socialist than you realize, guys. How do you take that giant down? Well, he says that he captured the flag, saved the country from being turned back over to Great Britain. He says that he's figured out that the language is fraudulent and all the laws, all the contracts that have put us into debt are no good. The contract that put us in that allegedly put us into debt to the Federal Reserve is no good. What happens if you prove in court that all of that is null and void? The giant of debt and the giant of socialism is dead. You chop the head right off of that bad boy. And if you if you listen to Russell talk about it, it is hard to understand. Guys, I have a high IQ. Very high IQ. I don't want to say the number, but it's up there. I'm having a, it's, it's a tough concept to grasp. Kim said that God says the plan would be so genius that it could only come from him. If this, if what Russell J. Gould is talking about is true, it is a ridiculously ingenious plan. How somebody could even figure this out is mind-blowing. I urge you to go to War Castles, link below. And start watching videos. Check it out for yourself. Do your own research. Don't let anybody tell you what to think or what to believe. So Kim also specifically mentioned the name Gold. And you might say, but his name's not Gold. His name is Gold. Okay. I did a search of the name Gould. And this might be pronounced Gold. Not sure. But a little Google search of the origin of the name Gould... I did, and this is the first site that popped up, Wikipedia. Gould is a variant of the surname Gold, which is a very ancient name found in Scotland and England. Gould comes from gold. Maybe this is pronounced gold. If I get an interview with him, I'm going to ask him. Kim says that they rejected him because of his youth, just like uh David well Russell was very young when he captured the flag and started he was like around the age of 20 and apparently when he captured this flag and took control of the of the post office uh the United, the United States Postal Service and the post the World Postal Service I can't remember exactly what it's called 
But he became commander in chief of the planet. I know that sounds crazy, but is it? Maybe he is. And maybe the people just don't accept it. A king can only be a king on this earth if everyone goes along with it, if everyone accepts it, you know? This guy does not want to be a king, though. That's the thing. He did this, according to him, to, to do what's right and to fight for everybody to have their freedom. He says that he developed a system of government where everyone pays 10% tax. You're free. You're sovereign. He set up a banking system that's not corrupt, that doesn't take advantage of us and enslave us financially. He wants to go around the world and implement this system in different countries. He doesn't want to take the governments down. He wants to change the system where, where and implement the system, teach them how to do it, and have them govern themselves. He does not want to be commander-in-chief of planet Earth. Because he's a man of humble stature. Just like Kim said. Kim said that he will restore the fortunes of the people of Israel. He'll do this by wiping out the debt. There's a lot of a lot of talk about revaluation, the economic reset. You guys have heard of it. This guy might be the one that does it. Is this legit? I don't know. But the more I look into it, the more I'm thinking, you know what, this might actually be true. So let me tell you how I made this connection. It was an accident. It was a crazy coincidence. I'm doing my research. I'm whatever. Going down my rabbit holes. You know how that is. And I'm watching the War Castle videos. Of which one of them I, I uh, put a clip in the first video that I made about this. And I'm watching it. And I shared it with my brother. I texted it to him because we, we both are into that crazy stuff. I shared it with him and then I watched a Kim Clement video and I shared that with him too. Back to back. I literally watched these two videos back to back and I didn't make the connection. My brother texted me back after watching the videos. He's like, man, that's crazy how Kim mentions the name Gold and that guy's name is Gould. I was like, what? I didn't even notice. I went back and watched the video, watched Kim's prophecy again. I was like, holy shit. And then when I saw Q post the Title IV flag, I'm like, whoa, I got to measure this thing. I haven't seen anybody else make this connection. If this is true, this is a game changer, folks. If this is true, this is how we take the enemy down. This is how we take the cabal down. This is a genius plan. This is how we get our freedom economic freedom. This is how we get our cures that have been hidden, that are illegal. This is how we do away with the, the establishment. This could be it. Look into it, guys. Hopefully, I'll get this interview. So make sure that you subscri subscribe to this channel. Share this video and the, the last video with your friends. This could be it. This could be the thing. Let me know what you guys think. If you, ha if you have anything to add to this, comment, message me. I want to hear it. Iron sharpens iron, folks. We got to work together to come to the truth. We can't do it on our own. If you guys have any information, let me know. Look out for the next video. Oh, in the last video, I told you I had some interesting stuff about Q. I came across some crazy information that confirms a vision that I had like 10 years ago. Awesome how God works. I'm going to do a video on Q. That's going to blow you guys' mind. All right, y'all. God bless. Hopefully it won't take me so long to make the next video. But I, I promise you, even if it takes a long time, these videos are going to be interesting. So watch out for them. Love you guys.